Welcome in. We're just going to be doing a fun, colorful seascape today. So we'll go ahead and get started. I just have a 16 by 20 black canvas here. And then all I've done is I've just put some masking tape, like a little, little higher than center. So a little, little more than 10, 10 inches. Um, now you want to put the masking tape on before you put your liquid clear on. <laughs> if you put your liquid clear on first, yeah, masking tape won't stick, so <laughs> masking tape first, then liquid clear. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Just gonna dip my brush into some liquid clear here. And I'm just gonna tap around. The reason I'm tapping is just to make sure I get a nice even distribution of this. And then I go in and do this little crisscross motion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the sky part. And after we're done with the sky, we'll remove the masking tape and then fill in this area with um, a little color. So you see I'll kind of alternate between doing this crisscross motion and then just doing like a little, like really grindy motion there. Cause you want this liquid clear to be as thin as possible. Okay. Whew. <laughs> if your your arm or your hand hurts, that means you've done it correctly. <laughs> First time I did a black canvas, my my arm hurt for like three days. And I was I went online. And I'm like, is this normal? And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, you're you're doing it right. You're doing it right. <laughs> I have a little excess up here, so I'm just transferring it down to here. And I'm just gonna do a little touch test. I'm just gonna, just kinda touching, just making sure that's kinda like bouncing back at me. If you do have too much, you can always just take a paper towel, put it on there, and just like crisscross it off like that. You don't want to take the paper towel and wipe it off because then you're gonna get all the fuzzies from the paper towel. So don't do that. Just put that on, crisscross it, or just swipe like that. Just like that. There you go. All right, I'm just gonna wipe off my brush here and just go over that one more time. Just get rid of my little fingerprints there. Okay. That is good. So now what we're going to do, since we have a black canvas, we're going to put on some transparent colors. So um, I work with the Bob Ross oils, the transparent colors. Uh, the only transparent yellow is Indian yellow, uh, phthalo blue or Prussian blue, either one. A lizard crimson is transparent, not bright red. <laughs> and then of course, uh, black and brown. Sepia is kind of kind of kind of medium. I'll put the sepia on. You'll kind of see. And of course, uh, both the greens as well, phthalo green and sap green. So I'll show you what colors I'm going to be using today. So just a few colors, just a limited limited palette today. So I've got some Indian yellow. I've got some lizard crimson, and I've got some Prussian blue. So. Change it up. I'm going to do impression blue today. Now I've mixed that together to make a purple. Now that color is very dark, so what you can do is you can add a little white to see if it's the color you like. That's what I did here, and I realized it was a little too blue for my liking, so I uh, went back in and put some more crimson in, and that's, that's the color I'm getting now. That's the one I want. And then I just have a little sepia here, and that's going to be for the sand, the sandy beach. And then I got some white down here, and that's going to be to bring out the waves and the, the sky and everything. So uh, let's go ahead and let's grab a two-inch brush. I'm just gonna just gonna tap some of that Indian yellow. Put it this right up here, so we're gonna have kind of like a kind of a sunset kind of thing going on. And you can even see like this yellow; it's not like it's not fully transparent. It's kind of kind of in the middle. 
but it's transparent enough for what we're doing. It's gonna go up a little higher there. That's good. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe that color off and go into a little bit of the alizarin crimson. This one's gonna tap just a tiny bit of that in. Just want a little bit of that in. And then I'm gonna put that around the yellow. So I'm just, again, just doing this little crisscross motion. And I think I'll dunk a little bit, a little bit of that, mm, a little bit of that red down here too. Just a little bit. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'll go ahead and wipe that out. Blend this in a little bit more. And this too. Let's bring that red down a little bit more. Less of that yellow showing. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get a little orange in there. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, now, now let's get into our purple. Let's just tap that purple on. All right. And then, oh, I see a little hair there. I get a little hair, just poke it out with a brush there. Not a big deal. Okay. Purple, I'd go in, do the same thing, just kind of crisscross that in. And I'm gonna tap a little more in and get some purple down here in our water. Let's kind of brush that into that red. And I think that's pretty good for the purple there. I'm gonna put a tiny little bit of blue, but I'm not going to wipe out my brush. I'm gonna keep some of that purple in there so that it kind of mixes in with that blue. And again, this is Prussian blue. So Prussian blue is a little, a little more dull, a little more, I don't know, kind of a somber blue. Whereas the phthalo blue is a very, is a very bright, bright blue. All right, and I'm just gonna go into the corners in the top there with that blue color. And I just kind of swipe across, get a little more of it. And I'll put some of that down here into the water. Okay. Now, I'm gonna wipe off that blue there. Wiping it off with a paper towel. Easy peasy. And then, I'm gonna go into some brown. Just wiping that off there. Ooh, it almost looks black there. All right, let's grab. Let's grab a little bit of that sepia color there. It's a nice, nice thick paint. All right, and that's gonna be for the, the sand down here. So you can see it's not super transparent, but, but it'll work, it will work for what we're doing. Or if you'd rather, you can use the Van Dyke Brown either way. And I'm just kind of blending that into the blue there. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna wipe that brush out again. So now, now's the fun part. 
This is usually, <laughs> see all this is usually the, uh, the part that you don't get to see Bob do. He already has the liquid clear on and all the transparent colors on. And then he just goes in with the white and brings out all the pretty colors and, and you go, ooh, and ah. <laughs> all right, that's pretty good there. Now what I'm gonna do, I'll put that brush down. I'm gonna grab another one just to make it easy on me. Just gonna grab another two inch brush there. And I'm gonna tap in some of that titanium white. Don't need too, too much here. The reason I'm tapping it over and over, I'm not loading it with more paint. The reason I just keep tapping it here is just to make sure it's nice and evenly distributed through the bristles there. That's all, that's all. All right, so now for the fun part. Again, you're just doing that little crisscrossy stroke. So I'm gonna start right kind of in the center here. And we're gonna do the crisscross, make our way, make our way out. There's that orange coming through. Here comes the purple. It's getting pretty dark now. So I might have to go back in with a little more white. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that brush out. Look how, look how pretty of a sunset that is. That's, that's dynamite. That's dynamite. I'm gonna tap. Just a little more white. Just so I can get a little more of the purple and blue up here. I'm gonna wipe my brush again there. So I can see I kind of tapped in a little bit of white there. So now I'm gonna go in with the brush wiped off. and blend that color in. There you go, so that blue right in the corners, you can just barely, barely see it. Just barely there. All right, but we need to blend out this area just one more time. And just to keep it clean, we're gonna go in with another brush just to keep everything nice and clean there. All right, and at this point you can add more white if you want to make it even brighter, but I think, I think that's plenty bright right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're just gonna go in and just blend out all these brush strokes here, just make it nice and nice and soft. There we go. Orange and purple color combo. That's such a pretty, pretty combination there. All right, I think that looks, that's looking pretty good there. Looks like the sun's just popping over, over the horizon and I see a little hair. Ooh, let's pop it out. Let's pop it out. I see it right here. Just boop, there we go. Got him. Okay. Pretty good there. And then you can add all, all sorts of little clouds and things if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine too. So I think, hmm, let's see, let's see. We'll add, we'll add a little, little bit of cloud coverage here. So let's go in with, uh, 
da, 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 da. Let's go in with a little, little white and a little bit of that lavender color. here. So basically I'm just gonna just gonna load the corner of my brush here. That's really all I need. And I'm going to I'm gonna do some little like little sweepy clouds. And then I'm gonna kind of turn my hand and Make some more wispy, willowy ones. Let's go in and make a little darker. side here. Just some nice little streaky clouds. Those are some of my favorites. Just like Bob said, just think of think of clouds as just nice and nice and billowy, just, just playing around all day, you know. Nice and free. Don't worry too much about them. Clouds kind of kind of do their thing, you know. <laughs> I kind of have them like fade off into the distance there. And then maybe we'll have a couple that just kind of streak across the sun here. Across, and then maybe just add a little, a little billowy top to that one, maybe. And you too. You can have a billowy top as well. And I'm basically just using the corner of the brush here to shape these clouds. So that cloud will be right on the horizon there. That'll be good. Okay. Let's add. Let's see, these guys are nice and dark over here, but I'm going to add a little bit of a little bit of highlight to them. Off. This way, a little, a little more on this guy here. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, that's nice. I like that dark there. Again, that purple, purple and orange combo is really neat. Of course, purple and yellow are opposites on the color wheel, so. So those are gonna go together, of course, but I like purple and orange too. I think that's 
That's a nice combo. All right, let's add just a little bit of highlight to the underside of some of these, some of these clouds here. So I'll just add a little, little white to that lavender mix. And then just, just tap the underside there. Just the underside, the, the sides that the side that's touching the sun there. And the more you tap, the, the more it blends. So if there's anything that you don't like, just tap it and blend it away. <laughs> a little, little white on that one there. Just a little, little brightness on these ones. There. And I'm tapping just to kind of blend that in. Let's do some on the other side too here. So maybe a little on this one. brightness on the underside. There we go, maybe this one too. The highlights up here are gonna be a little darker because they're further away from the sun, so not getting quite as much light there. So I'm just gonna put a little white on like the shapes of these clouds here, and then we'll blend some of that away. Let's add some, add some shape to this cloud here. tapped on the white and now I'm just blending it, just blending that away. Same up here with that one. And this one here too. Okay, let's see. And maybe just a little bit more on these, some over here. There's so many ways to do clouds. It's, <laughs> it's really interesting. And a lot of times I like to um, combine the way I do clouds as well. So I'll kind of mix, like this one, I, I kind, of, kind of mix in the streaky, but also with kind of the, the shapelier clouds as well. Mm, excuse me. Ooh, that's fun, I like that. And you can discover some pretty, pretty fun, interesting things. Like I said, the clouds, I mean, they, they come in all shapes and sizes for sure. Okay, let's see there. I think, eh, maybe, maybe just blend that one out a little bit more here. Maybe a little more streaky. Zip, zipping across. 
zip in. There we go. It's a little, little zip. Looks like there'd be a storm coming. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Alrighty. So that's looking, that's looking pretty good there. And maybe I'll just blend some of these streaker ones just a little bit more. <laughs> All right, I think I think that'll about do it for the for the sky here. So now I get to rip off the tape. <laughs> so a little little ASMR. Like I said, see, wait, remember we weren't able to put the liquid clear on, so let's go ahead and do that. So I will grab, I'll just grab one of those two inch brushes here, and I'll just take a little bit of, a little bit of that red. Just gonna take some of this and kind of zhuzh it up here. You can take a little liquid clear and put that in as well. Just want to go right up to this line. See how I'm starting from here and then very carefully going right up to this line here. Very carefully. <laughs> Looking really right at that line there. Just make sure I get that. I'm gonna take a little more red. Switch sides there. And if you go over your horizon line a little, it's no worry. You can either raise the horizon line or just turn your overage into clouds. It's not, not a biggie. Okay, that's good there. Let's wipe off that brush. Okay, so now, now, gotta put the big wave in. <laughs> So let's, let's grab, I like using the fan brush for this. So I'm just gonna tap, tap some liquid, or I'm sorry, some titanium white into there. Get a, get a hefty amount, get a, get a decent amount because we're gonna use some of this white to create the waves. I'll show you what I mean by that. All right. So what we're gonna do here, uh, let's see, I'm gonna say, I want my big wave like right over here. So what we wanna do is we kinda wanna make this wave on an angle. So I have a little, little thing right there. I'm gonna kinda use that as a guide. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my wave like, oh, like about here. So let's kinda, there we go. And there it is, there's our big wave. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe that off there. Grab a little more of that white. And then just continue that wave on here. Okay, that's looking pretty good there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna take the white that's on here and we're gonna take it and we're gonna Gonna rock it back, 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 
Just do that. And if you don't have enough white on there to do that, you can just re-put that line in. Do a little bit up here too, where that wave is. That's good there. And I'm gonna, you know what, I'm actually gonna rock it back a little bit more. There we go. All right. I'm gonna wipe that off. I'm actually gonna reinforce this one a little bit here. I'm just gonna. This is the same way you do waterfalls. Just, just spill it over. Just spill it over. Maybe a, maybe a tad more over here. Just. There we go. Don't get over, don't go over it too much because then you'll you'll lose that effect of water. All right, get a little, a little more of this white on your brush here. We're gonna put in more waves. So now we're gonna go about mm, about halfway in between. So from here to here. And same thing, just kind of this little, this little wavy motion. And I think I'm going to grab a little more, a little more white. Like I said, you want, want a decent amount of white here doing this. There we go. Actually, I think I'm going to put more down here too. That's better. Yeah, I'll take a couple of these and rock them back a little more. That's good. All right, let's do the same thing up here. So I'm gonna take that, take that white rocket back. So see how up here we have more of that red showing through. Like that red. And as you can see, you don't have quite as much space here. We're kind of running out of out of space. for our little, rocking our little waves back. So then, we've got a couple options. We can either put in another wave like we were, or since we have such, it'd be hard to squeeze another line in right over there. So what we can do is we can do this little rocky motion, just kind of back and forth here. Do that little rocky motion. It's back and forth, back and forth. Let's reload. Oh, it's a little, little much there. i do a little bit of that in here as well. Just a little, a little rocking. I'm gonna wipe some of, some of that white off of my brush. And I'm gonna go back in and just do that motion again over what we've done. And that way it'll just kinda, kinda blend it out there. nice distant things. The other thing you can do is you can just tap a little bit of white onto your your knife and then just kind of 
kind of tap that white in. And that gives the appearance of like, you know, like a little, little calmer scene, a little calmer sea. So that's always an option too. So yeah, I'm taking the spots that have like a lot of white and then just, just kind of rocking them in there. This is what Bob referred to as the doers. Put in your doers. Okay. So we've got our, got our, the start of our big wave and got some little, little waves over here. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and wash the, well, wash this fan brush here. I don't generally wash the bigger brushes as I'm doing these because it takes forever for them to dry. And if you take that brush into your painting, it'll ruin your painting. <laughs> so, but the little brushes, they dry really quickly. So those ones you don't have to worry about. You can clean those as often as you want. So I'm just gonna swish that around into my paint thinner here. Okay. And see, I'm just kind of blotting it dry. Okay. That's good. All right, now we're gonna do the eye of the wave. So now we have to make a big, big, big decision. Um, do we want it to be purple? Do we want it to be a little yellow? Uh, I don't know, because we do have a little bit of blue in there too, don't forget. So that might be interesting. I'm gonna get some green in there. So let's, yeah, we got a little bit of a little bit of that Indian yellow left. Let's take a tiny, tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny bit of that Indian yellow. Mix it in. There we go. It looks like a runny egg. That'll be good. Okay, wipe off that knife there. Mm -hmm. All right, so now, again, I'm gonna just kinda just tap the corner of my brush in there, just the corner of the fan brush. And we're gonna start at the eye of the wave. And remember what we did with the sky we had the transparent color in, and then we just went in, went in with the white and worked our way out. That's exactly what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna start at the brightest part here. They call that the eye of the wave. And we're just gonna scrub, just gonna scrub our way out. Ooh, there's the blue. There it is. Now I wanna keep a little darkness between the eye and this little crest there. So I'm gonna to try to keep that little darkness. Yeah, I like that Prussian blue with the purple. That's, that's really cool. I'll work a little bit of that color over here too. just using that, that one corner, that one corner of my brush there. Seascapes were very daunting to me at first. <laughs> and they're not the easiest thing. They do, they do require practice, for sure. But, you know, thankfully, Bob gave us kind of like a little formula to make it easier on us. Now I want to keep a dark area here as well. And I'll show you why in a little bit. That's going to be basically our, our little waves crashing onto the beach. 
we're going to rock those back like we did those. All right, so that's looking pretty good there. It's still, it's got color, but it's still, still on the dark side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back in here and just blend that up a little bit more. Clean this brush off. And again, just gonna kind of dab it dry there. That's good. Again, make sure it's dry. <laughs> make sure it's fully dry before you bring it back in. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to, the same thing we did up here, just go back into that lightest part and then just scrub it in a little more and make it nice and smooth. And again, you can go back in with, um, with that color that we were using, the, the white and the yellow or just white to brighten it up. But I think this is, this is good here. And I, I, honestly, I don't, I don't want them too bright, so. It's the same thing here, just start in the lightest spot and just kind of working in like tiny, tiny, tiny little circles here. Tiny little circles. I'm trying to keep my brush on the canvas the whole time. And it's up to you how, how smooth you want it. If you want it absolutely smooth or if you want to keep in some of that kind of like painterliness and keeping the brush strokes, totally up to you. I think I'm gonna go back in one more time just to make it a little smoother. And again, because these brushes are so small, I can clean them over and over and over again and blot them dry and I don't have to worry about <laughs> ruining the whole painting. Okay, so it's looking pretty good there. And you can actually do this with any brush. Um, I generally either use the fan brush or the filbert brush. The filbert brush I don't use a whole lot, but this is a really good, really good time to use the filbert brush. Or you can use a one inch brush or a two inch brush. It's, it's all good, they all work, they all work. There's even a blender brush that's super, super, super soft. But I haven't even used mine because it's so soft. I just like, <laughs> I just like touching it because it's so, so soft. <laughs> All right, I think that's pretty good there. Uh, maybe just a little, maybe just a little bit there. Okay, and that's good, that's good. Now, we need to put in our big crashing wave here. So, let us mix up a medium purple color. Actually, we have, we still have some medium over here. Eh, maybe make it a teensy bit darker. Yeah, that's good there. Okay, that's good. my knife there. <laughs> and back to the fan brush. <laughs> and 
this is basically what we're doing here is is exactly what we did with the clouds. It's it's like the same the same thing. <laughs> so I'm just going to tap the corner of the brush into that purple. And we're just going to make foam. So we're going to tiny little circles again. So just think of the wave crashing and billowing there. You could make it like turn back on itself here. Like the sound effects, it helps, it helps. And just a little bit more of that kind of billowing on the side here. Maybe we'll have just, just a little on the side. Okay, that looks good to me. Mm -hmm. And maybe just a little, just a little more there. Okay, that's good. So again, I'm gonna wipe that off. I'm not gonna wash it off in the uh, paint thinner because I'm going to use white, but it's, it's going to get contaminated with the purple very quickly. I will put out some more straight titanium white, though, because I did contaminate the rest of my titanium white with the Indian yellow. So let's put a little, a little white out here. I'm just going to load it the same way, just kind of tap it into the corner here. I'll tap it into the other corner. There we go. So I want a whole bunch of, whole bunch of paint. And I'm going to kind of start up here and just, again, just little tiny little, tiny little circles there. Just put some over here. Gives me a little itch there. Okay. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna reload. So wipe that off. And reload there. You want to reload frequently, because like I said, you're in your White's going to be contaminated with uh, the purple right away. But just like the clouds, I'm putting the white on and then I'm kind of like blending it into the purple there. So I'm just doing little sections at a time. But like I said, like, think, of, think of the clouds. Think of the clouds when you're doing this part. Think of what we did up there. Exact same thing. See? See what I did there? See, I was training you. <laughs> Like I said, you'll have to you have to wipe off all the time doing this part. So don't worry, don't worry. Step back a little bit, see how it's going. Make sure it's going the direction you want it to. And let's add a little bit of little foamy bits. here, just here and there. So sometimes I'll flip over to the other side of my brush for blending. That's pretty good. And then I think I just want a little more, a little more white over there, a little more splashy. 
little more splash in there. But when this dries, this is going to be really thick. All right. Let's see where we are. Yeah, maybe a little less white here. There. Took away some of that. Okay. I think that's pretty good for our wave there. Not too much, not too much more to do there. Uh, let's see, let's see. Mm. Go back to the brush that we had the brown on. I'm actually going to sweep up a little bit more. So I'm going to take some of that brown, sweep up a little bit more up here. Just kind of have that go on an angle as well, since the wave's on an angle. Okay. Now, I'll wipe that brush off. I'm going to add a little bit of a shine down to the water there. So for that, I'm going to take this brush and go into just a little bit, just a little, 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 little <laughs> bit of white. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Because if you want it brighter, you can always add more white but it's harder to go the opposite way. <laughs> so I'm gonna go kind of where uh, the brightest part is here. I'm just gonna... So I have my brush on an angle, but I'm pulling down. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that off. So again, you, if it's not bright enough, you can you can add more. But basically, what I'm doing here is just making the sand nice, nice and nice and shiny and wet looking. And then I'm gonna go across, just make it nice and nice and watery, nice and watery. And at this point, if there's any part where it's, it's, it's too bright, this is a good way of blending it in and getting it dark again. Or if you want it lighter, a little lighter, add a little more white. Don't worry about having a clean line at this point. We're gonna, we're gonna fix that. But see what I mean about building it up, not starting, not starting too bright right away. I think that's gonna be right where I want it there. again just to make it nice nice and watery there we go nice all right now this this is probably my favorite part <laughs> of a seascape here uh, I'm gonna take the bigger knife little knife doesn't really matter and so we're going to make these little little ripples of water that are crashing on the beach here. So I'm going to take the knife and flatten out some white and cut off a little roll. Now when I'm doing this, I want to get more, more on the top part of my, my knife here. Let me reload again. Yeah, it's kind of 
kind of uniform there. <laughs> That's okay. There we go. Now we have more at the top. Okay, the reason for that, we're gonna do that sawing motion that Bob talks about. When you're doing that sawing motion, it's literally pushing paint out of the top of the knife. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna start off with the, the wave that's closest to us. So let's see, um, let's start about like right here. So we're gonna saw, bend it, bend that blade, bend that blade. Let's reload. Bend it, bend it like Beckham. There we go. Sometimes you run into the, the end of the canvas there, <laughs> the wooden part that's in there. That's looking pretty good there. I'm just gonna go back in and redistribute. There we go. Let's see how it looks all nice and foamy, like the sea foam coming onto the beach. So then, then we're gonna take the fan brush, do the same thing we did up here with the waves. Pew. Rock it back, rock it back. Two little sea foamies here. So basically you're, you're, you're borrowing some of that white and you're flicking it back, flicking it back. There we go. I'm gonna flick eh, just a little bit more just so it's kind of blending, blending some of that blue. So I'll wipe off. I brush as I'm doing that, so I don't get too much blue into the brown. But you do want the, the brown to blend into the blue, like that, so you can have it seamless, that beach going into the water. some blue in there, just blend it out. Not a biggie. All right, we're gonna do another, another one of those little crasher waves. All right, so I got, eh, let's reload that. There we go, plenty, plenty of white on there. So I'm gonna go in kind of, kind of where the blue meets the brown there, maybe a little, a little underneath that. And that's not, not enough white. I'm gonna go back and grab some more here. There we go. Looking good. So we're gonna do the same thing, just take, before I do that, make sure I have my <laughs> paper towel ready to wipe off there. And choo, choo. rock it back, rock it back, rock it back. So now this is, this is where the brown meets the blue. It's a little, little sea foamy things. Connecting with the rest of the wave there. 
So I'll drag some of that that's up here. I'll drag that some of that down. Connect. Nice. All right. And another fun thing you can do with the little sea foamy things here. So again, the same thing with the knife, just drag out a little bit of titanium white there and just get, just get a little, cut off a little bit on your knife. And then I just like to go in, and it's just, just very, very, very lightly. You can go in and kind of just put in a little, little foamy bits. But see how I'm kind of jiggling my hand here to make it nice and nice and natural looking. Let's put in put in the doers. Put in the doers. You can put the doers in this way. You can put them in with. Um, you can put them in with a fan brush. Uh, you can put them in with script liner. Bob's Bob did them like every every which way. <laughs> But see how I didn't reload this entire time. I'm just using what's on here. And the canvas is just taking off what it wants. I am laying it a little flatter now. It's a little lighter towards the top there. And then go over a couple that maybe are a little, little lighter. Blend in some. Need some foamies over here. We don't have any. Okay. That's that's a fun way of putting. That's my my favorite way of putting in those little those little foams. Just nice and easy. Nice and easy. All right, we're just gonna do just a couple more little, little, little easy little details that really bring this to life. Oh, a little thunder there. <laughs> and if you've seen any of my um, space paintings or uh, galaxy paintings, I have a couple tutorials up. So this is the exact same thing as putting the stars in the sky. Same deal. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my brush here. Now I'm not gonna wipe it off. I'm gonna squeeze off a little bit of paint thinner that way, so they, you know, we just don't want it dripping or anything. <laughs> but I'm gonna take a little paint thinner and put it into some titanium white. So I'm just going to, just gonna tap, tap that in there. So you don't want the texture where it's like running. You don't want that. You want it thicker than that. I think I'm gonna put a little, little more paint thinner, just a drop, just a drop though. Yes, okay, there we go. Just a drop. So see how I'm tapping it and it's starting to run there? So we need it a little bit thicker. So just a little bit thicker. So this is a fun way of just putting like little pebbles on the beach. Well, I could have done it with the yellow too, actually. Maybe I, maybe I still will. All right. So you're just gonna take the brush, flick it, against the knife. You might want to practice on your palette first <laughs> before you just, you know, just spray all over the painting. Eh, I might want to practice. So just very, make sure you do it very gingerly. And the further away you are, the more widespread it's going to be, but also the smaller the pebbles are going to look. So the closer you are, the bigger the pebbles are going to look and it's going to be more concentrated. So I'm going to start kind of like, there we go. So we just got like just a couple, 
just a couple showing up on the on the beach there. Don't need a whole lot. A little goes a long way. You can also do the same thing up here with the wave crashing. And then it just looks like See this? Now this one I'm going to do more concentrated. So this one's going to be like only like an inch away. But it's going to look like like sea spray. There we go. Nice. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do it with a darker color so that we have some darker pebbles as well. All right, let's, 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 let's. Mm, let's just mix. Uh, let's grab a little bit of purple. Yeah, a little purple and a little of that sienna color. Just dark, just make it dark. Yeah, that's good. Maybe a little darker. Ooh, maybe a little blue. Yeah, blue and brown. Makes a grayish, grayish black, so that's good. Just nice and dark. All right, that's good. Doesn't have to be super, super mixed or anything. All right, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna make, make some darker pebbles this time. But yeah, this is the exact same way you make stars in a galaxy painting. Same thing. Same technique, different use. Just like how we did the clouds was the same way that we did the little wave crasher there. Oop, I wiped off too much paint thinner there. I'm gonna go back and get, in, get a drop. There we go. there. I tapped into a little more brown because it was still a little too blue. Let's see it's running there but <laughs> it's up here. We got a good texture. It's not running. So just loading it I'm just kind of just tapping it in there. And then same thing. Just strike against your knife here. more. There we go. Want a little, little more at the bottom. Ooh, got some big ones there. <laughs> All right, that's good. I want them to be different sizes because they're stones, you know, they're nice and nice and natural looking, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand back and just kind of see if there's anything, anything else I wanted to do. I think that looks pretty good. We, I like all the different colors in this one. We got, we got the blue and the brown, then we also got the purple, the red, the yellow, the orange. We got lots of different colors in here. So very, very colorful little seascape there. So I think we're gonna we're gonna call we're gonna call that one finished. And um, hey, if you like what you saw, um, give me give me a follow. Uh, you can always uh, subscribe and uh, hit that notifications thing. That way, um, when I upload tutorials, you can see when I upload a new one, I upload load tutorials to YouTube as well as my streams on Twitch. And it's under the same name, Lady Galaga on Twitch as well. So. All right, thank you for hanging out and I, I hope to see your version someday. All right, bye.